Hello, and welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Shoki. And in the kitchen today, we have a box. And it is from a good old Gundam Planet. You know, the guys from New Jersey. Now, it's not that box from Gundam Planet. That box will be coming later. So, this was an order that I decided to go ahead and place uh, last week when I saw something I just absolutely had to have. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is that while I ordered this stuff, um, I neglected to tell them to ship the prizes for the Balls for Balls contest in this package. So that's why that will have to be a separate box at a later date, though it should be shipped out today. First and foremost, I ordered some brushes. Now, I did just buy some brushes a couple of months ago for doing fine details. These seem to be very similar in nature, although much, much pointier. Although it would be quite funny if it was actually the same brand and everything. But because I plan on doing far tinier details, and these are clearly some super tiny, tiny brushes, I'm pretty good. And for about $8, I couldn't pass them up. Why not? Next thing is not a Gunpla kit, but it is an actual model. And to go with the rest of the series that I've started to collect, we have Kamen Rider Kabuto. It's another one of the Heisei Riders, and, well, because of the upgrades they have done to the newer figureized standard kits, along with the cool stuff that this one comes with, I decided I needed to have it. Though I have a feeling that I will need to uh, paint on some more details and stuff, but realistically, it's really, really cool. And not that I know of Kabuto directly of the series, I've seen many reviews of other things, and I love the design, and the figure out standard kits have been getting better and better. So after I do Gio, which is actually still on the table from the last uh, unboxing, uh, I will work on this. Finally hit it. I gotta get my drink. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done that voice. Ooh. The last box is in fact a very large one. Though once again, not actually Gumpla. Ha! You guys didn't even know. Seriously, come on. So what we have next is the Strike Freedom Ancient Egyptian version. No. Though what I do actually have is the Kotobukiya, or Kotobukiya, if you're going to be that way, Zone of the Enders Anubis. It's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't actually know much about Zone of the Elders, or Enders, for those who are reading. But I do know that it's one of the larger orbital things. I had the word in my mind. I wanted to say orbital, orbital frames, I believe is what it's called. It's a giant, giant floating orbital robot. Uh, this, and along with Jehuti, which is the other kit and its sister frame, uh, make up some very... Shut up, coffee machine. I said the thing. But either way, uh, it's a rather large kit, and it's been a while since I've done a good Kotobukiya kit, uh, so I look forward to doing this one sometime soon for a not quite Master Grid Monday. Oh, it appears they have Jehuti, Jehuti HD Edition, and Hick Viper. Pretty cool. But either way, I look forward to that. This is a really big box. So, yay for that. Saving up boxes for shipping out contest wins. 
But guys, as of filming this video, we are still getting Balls for Balls submissions, though at this point it's not over. Like I said, it. Whenever you're done. Not like I'm filming a video. However, it talks back. It's a jerk. Jerk of a coffee machine. This video is not actually over as of now because I will be inserting another box magically, right? About. And there we go. Two boxes have arrived today and uh, I'll go through them individually. So that's just how we do things. And thank you AC unit for cooling down right now. So I'll set this one to the back. And then we'll go with the smaller box. This is from TF Source. And is a couple of things that I ordered well, as soon as I had the money. Always with the paper. By the way, the uh, packing list from the last thing is still on the floor right now. Yep, that's what I ordered. And as they always do with the bubble wrap bags so I have two new figures from the new age legendary heroes line which I believe is actually picking up for the war and pocket line from DX9 and I have the 06B Max V2 that would be the shattered glass version of Cosmos I've already gotten the regular version of Cosmos and, I, well, I haven't reviewed it as of yet, but my patrons, I have filmed their initial opening unboxing. But the box is a little wonky. I don't know if it was packed correctly. But more exciting than that is their version of the number two Special Operations Saboteur Monero. And it's their version of a G1 Jazz. It looks fantastic. Can't wait to get it out of there and actually get to play with it. I have the rest of them sitting over there, so I'll be end up doing a whole bunch of reviews all at once. Now, last and foremost, a very important box from the good old Gundam planet. You know, from New Jersey. I already said that once this video, but you know, for me, it's been a week. YouTube time travel, can't cut in a straight line. And this is the box that I've been waiting for. Oh, right off the bat. So this would be the balls for balls portion of this video. And a big shout out to Gundam Planet for their help in this. So what I have here is prizes for the balls for balls contest. Right off the bat, the beautiful High res Gundam Astray Red Frame. Wow. Just wow. That's awesome. Gotta set it somewhere. After that, we have the MG Gundam Dynamis. Like Dynamis, however you want to say it. Another one, I wish that it was mine, but unfortunately I will have to wait. So I do believe a friend of mine well, has a solution for me on that front. So that is the Gundam, or the Sinanju Stein narrative version that's over there. And this are my big wants so far for this year. Stay. And last, we have the MG H2 Magnum from the Build Divers. The first Build Divers MG kit. Not going to be the last one. So, that's pretty awesome. I might pick this one up. I'm not sure. I didn't necessarily enjoy the HG, but being that it's an MG and another go at the actual uh, H2, which I could always use a little more effort in fixing, it'd be good. I love the fact that it does feature multiple versions, or multiples, of the other build divers. So we have 
the red beret over here. We have the double O Sky, no, not double O Sky, uh, double O Diver. Uh, I don't remember what it was called with the rest of this package. I don't care, but it's what it is. Um, you've got the Momo Kapool and the Gym 3 Cheese Master. That's pretty neat. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that those are what's coming, but that we've already sort of been told that there will be more MG Build Divers kits in the future. And I hate when my lighting does this. I forgot to turn on that light to help reinforce things. Now, something they did include is this. They said they were sending extra stuff. So now I'm going to look and see what this is. Not saying that they're kits, but they're something that they included. Am I dumb or is this hard to open? Let me answer that. Where did my knife go? Oh, thanks. Nice. So I just gotta get it started, I can't rip it open. There's a little bubble envelope and it's killing me. What is it? Is it ooh. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, it said a lot. All right. All right, so what I have hit. How about I just lose the accent entirely? <laughs> so that's what just what I'm gonna do for the rest of this. So they sent uh, business cards, buttload of Gundam Planet slash figureized business cards, free shipping over hundred dollars. Nice. Now remember, it used to be free shipping over ninety eight dollars back in the day when I first started ordering from them, which was like the main benefit to ordering from Gundam Planet. Uh, because I was almost always ordering two or three Master Grades together, so that was simple. Um, oh, that's figureize.com has free shipping over $100. Oh, it says it on the, on the Gundam Planet side, too. Either way, so um, everybody who wins will be getting some of these, and then I'm basically just going to hand them out to people. It's like, hey, Gundam Planet, Gundam Planet, Gundam Planet. Um, and then, for certain winners, and I don't know exactly, okay, so they sent these, these are bonus cards, they sent these as uh, extras in their, whoop, focus on what I want you, there we go, they sent these as extras, so for anybody who's in the New York, New Jersey area can use these in, per or in person. So it's like every time, receive one punch for every $10 spent, does not include purchase during which card is redeemed. Uh, present your card to checkout, not valid in conjunction with any other offers. No cash value, valid in-store purchases only. Exclusions apply, discount cannot be redeemed on the same day. Card is filled, Gun Planet is not responsible for lost or stolen cards. So basically it's punch card, like Subway or all those other ones used to do, except that uh, every $10 you spend, so say you've been uh, so it already comes punch with five. So you only need to spend an extra 10. So you spend a hundred bucks, boom, you get 15% off your uh, next visit. So you basically, it's a coupon deal. -y. So it's pretty cool. So I got three of those to give to anybody who uh, is in that area. So if winners end up with that, or maybe down the line, I'll just do a quick little giveaway and send these to people who might live in and around New Jersey. But I guess, for the most part, I have a brick of Gundam Planet uh, cards. So for all the winners who win, you'll get some business cards because, well, I'm, I'm going to shill for them slightly because they're helping me out in a massive way. That's an expensive pile right there. And so that's, that's very awesome for them to help support this contest and the last one too. So, I mean, they were in, they were involved last year for Lupus for Lupus, um, 
not in as big a way, but they still donated some awesome kits. So this year, they're really on board. Um, so I definitely, definitely appreciate you guys um, helping out there. I'm directing directly at Gundam Plant, guys. Kind of tag them in this video. Because, um, I mean, essentially, other than Hobby Town, and on the very rare occasions that I order from, like, USA Gundam Store, which is only if I'm, like, kind of desperate to get a kit. Um, I order from Gundam Planet. I always have. That's, like, my, been my main source since I got into this hobby. That's why I went to them first to help support this contest. And that's why it means something to me to help them out, you know, help promote them while they're helping us. So that's just how things work. So, guys, go check out Gundam Planet's website. And, of course... To all the winners, you're getting, well, if you're in the New York, New Jersey kind of greater area, uh, I'll give you these. Um, I don't know, oddly enough, I don't know where everybody's from that isn't local. So the guys who aren't local, I don't know where they where they come from. And I do have a friend, one guy that I know for particular is in Virginia. So that's not going to help him out much. It's a little bit of a drive. But I'm going to put these away with the rest of the prizes, which are right over there. So... If I'm honest with you guys, this means only one prize is left to be purchased. But now that I've got an extra three weeks to finish out the judging, we'll have time to do that. That's the RG Sosby. It's the only one we have not picked up. Um, I'll probably get that one, or Thomas and I will, will go in together on that one. Because uh, he spent some money on this. I definitely spent some money on this. Joey uh, donated from his own personal back stock, which means he's spend money on it so to have this kind of backing is great and i know that the camera lighting is not doing me any favors because every time i turn it goes away there's still one more box in this in the kitchen video so i'll make this one disappear Ta-da! and the next box will reappear just like booyah I love that I put myself in a pose that there's no way I can mimic tomorrow when I refilm the next part of this. I bet that was really terrible editing. All right, so we have here a couple of boxes. This one is not for me. This is for the wife. And now I realize that you can't actually see what I'm doing. It's called framing, which is not easy to do when you're doing this days apart. Continuity. But today I got this box from the Big Bad Toy Store, as I mentioned before, and you know it's from BBTS because it's upside down and backwards on the tape. Oh, ooh, that box is big. So what we have here is a few assortments of things, or rather it's one assortment of many things, not many assortments of one thing. No, wait, actually, that's kind of also true. English. But first and foremost, we have another New Age figure. And it is this one right here. Legendary Heroes Multiverse Cyclops. And it's a variant of the Jazz that I just got a minute ago. But it's Security Police Cyclops. So it's a version of Jazz, kind of shattered glass style. That is also uh, Shockwave. And I believe it's actually from a BotCon custom figure thing. I don't remember. Radimus13 tried to tell me what it was. Either way, I thought it was really cool. And it's the only variant I'm going to get. I don't really want the other one, which is his brother or whatever he's supposed to be. I don't care. It looks cool, but this one's purple. Purple! But moving on, I have some stuff here from 52 Toys and the Beast Boxes. As you guys should know, I love those little figures. And it's two new custom versions of one of my favorite things ever, the D10. So I have a camo version and the mint flavored one. And I literally mean that it's the mint Dio D10. As soon as I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. And as soon as I saw this one, well, I had to get it too. Yes, it's exactly the same color, but, or exactly the same figure, but it's cool new variant. Cool mint variant. 
Now, I still haven't gotten the Sakura Color Visions, but I want to. And then I got this guy, which is actually the first of this mold that I've ever gotten. And it is the Jojobs. <laughs> I think that's a play on words because it's normally the Jojo, but being that it's kind of cyber and computer related, they call it Jojobs, as in Steve Jobs. But it is the gorilla figure which is a really fun one and I have yet to get it until now and I dig it and I believe it has even a custom box box inside that looks more like a computer screen so this one the second I saw it I had to get it he has like a cool visor over his eyes well if he's supposed to I can't see it currently right here but I look forward to reviewing this one those yeah. I'll put them there's other beast boxes that are coming out right now, like the Ice Cube, which is four cute little penguins that come together to make one block uh, that should be out right now. In fact, Zeta Gumpla said he got his uh, already, which I don't know how he did that, because BBTS still has it for pre-order. Or it sold out that fast, came back in and pre-ordered again. But it's still... Shut up, people upstairs. And there's also the Echo Blaster, which is their parrot, which hasn't come out just yet. It says first quarter or May, depending on which way you look at it, from a certain point of view. From a certain point of view. Uh, but I want to get that one because it looks amazing. The color separation is great. And it's a bird that turns into a box. Kind of like a monkey that turns into a box like this one. I'm, I look forward to playing with the Jojo. Though it does occur to me that I will have to do more out-of-the-box reviews, as I do for my patrons for almost every new cool thing I get. So look forward to that if you are a patroneer. Damn, I left my drink over there. Ah, throat's actually a little bit sore from work. Having to talk to someone over a loud engine, your throat gets a little raspy. Which you'd think would help in this case, but not so much. And last, but certainly not least, is a new cool model kit that I saw on BBTS as well. It's from V-Link, and it's, or Regio Multi-Abyss. And the V-Link Mecha is the thing. This is the MM01 Striker and Logistics Set. It's a cool kind of walking tank person. So they have the striker set and the logistics set. So I got the logistics one. It actually comes with like a little figure. I, I don't know. Product can be assembled into the following A, B, two different machine armor by replacing parts. Okay, so maybe both come in this box. I don't know, it's different. I got the blue version, which I actually forgot because it comes in green, blue, red, tan. As being a non Kodobukia, Fling Toys, or Bandai kit, I don't know what to expect. Ooh. Ooh. Bag of pre painted parts. Nice color separation. Looks to be ABS plastic. Oop, there's a wire or a hose. This is a fairly cheap little model kit. It is a 160th scale, but I believe it is based on people, like actual, well, duh, all scale is to scale, I'm stupid. But a 160th scale would be perfect grade size comparative to a Gundam, such as the Exia that I built last year. So whenever I do this review, I will compare it to that, because in theory it should scale. But this is something like a mecha that a real person could potentially drive. It's a smaller uh, mecha design. They have some that combine with smaller vehicles, and then they have things like this one, which I don't know. And then on this one, they have an Alien Beast series. I don't know. It was fairly affordable, even if it is a small kit. Uh, but I can look forward to building something new that isn't Bandai. So there's that. But that's going to be it for this very long multi-part version of this In the Kitchen with Shoki. I'm very excited about mostly what's in this box because I've already played with the stuff from the other day. 
the model kits aren't for me, so this stuff is for me. And I really want to play with little purple one-eyed man here. That sounded terrible. Why? Don't quote me on that. But guys, make sure you like this video. Go check out the Patreon if you want to see the out-of-the-box reviews for many things such as this and actually the jazz figure that I opened up and played with. It won't actually be out for a little while. I have lots of editing to do. But um, also, if you guys are interested in the first In the Kitchen with Shoki merchandise, we do have a Shut Up Coffee Machine t-shirt available right here. And uh, you can get that at the Shoki store, which is always in the link down below. And you can get that in white or many other colors. And you can also get a mug. Because I believe in irony of telling a coffee machine to shut up with a coffee mug. I did that. Either way, every little bit goes to help the channel. And don't forget the Balls for Balls contest is still going on. So by all means, if you need to join in on that, if you haven't yet, it's still going on until May 21st in the description down below if you need to see the rules or anything like that. While I've granted the extension and a couple of people have shown me what they're going to work with, I'm still waiting on actual entries. So, Josh Fisher, I don't know where your entry is. Get on it. I'm looking at you. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Maybe if you weren't building a diorama for a completely different contest, you'd have mine done. Unless I suspect that you're going to use that same diorama for this build. You're just going to interchange the mobile suits. It's a meta thing. Either way, no. But I will catch you guys on the next review. And remember, as always, get out of my kitchen. It is seriously hard to keep continuity with the crap in the background days and days apart. So, next time I do this, I'm saving all the boxes for a single day.